The XPIT contains three discrete effects processors. And down here we see the master switches for those processors. Now, each patch contains its own effect settings, but these control whether the effect is active for the whole machine. Again, a global control. So let's take a basic sound. Here's a piano sound. I'm going to add the reverb effect. This serves to simulate the acoustics of a, a small hall or a room, and we can change the settings of the reverb independently. Let's try the chorus effect. You see how much that thickens up the sound using subtle modulation. Really great for pad sounds. And finally, the EFX section. We have a choice of 40 different EFX types. Some of them are single effects, like distortion or rotary speaker simulator, and others are combinations of effects, multi-effects, in actual fact. Well, I've got a great patch here. It's preset bank C, sound 115, and you should have exactly the same sound in that location. Brilliant sound. Make sure all the effects buttons are on, and take a listen to the sound. Remove the effects. You can see what a dramatic effect that has on the sound. Also, you may have noticed that visual confirmation of the effects on or off status are not only given by the buttons themselves, but in the LCD, EFX, chorus, reverb as shown as little icons. So as I switch them in and out, you can see the icons appear and disappear.